Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are gonna be exploring iOS 16 for the iPhone. We have it running on this phone right here. Let me show that to you real quick. If I go to my settings, if I go into general, and if I tap on software update, you can see we have iOS 16.0. Now this is right now available to developers. They're gonna have a public beta available in July. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys all the new major features of iOS 16. So let's dive in and get started. Now one of the biggest features is the ability to customize and personalize your lock screen. So let's go to the lock screen and see what is going on. Okay, so here I have my lock screen. You can see we have the clock right over here and we actually are able to add some widgets. So let's see what we can do. There's more that can be done here. So what you wanna do is you wanna unlock the screen then press and hold. Once you press and hold on the screen, you are able to access and modify all kinds of different screens that you can create. So I'm gonna come back to that in a second. For now, let me just go to this guy right here and just show you how to edit the clock and add the widgets and then we'll come and look at how this is all possible as well. So let's go over here and basically if you want to edit a particular screen, you select it, then you press and hold and you tap on customize. Once you tap on customize, you have all these modules here. For example, I can tap over here. And now what I can do is I can add various uh, modules to this little area right here. Right now, I have the date and the time as you just saw. So if I were to click on clock, it would just bring, it would just add that particular option in there. If I tap it one more time, now I can change the font of the clock. Okay, so let's pick this one right here, for example. And right now, it looks like we only have six. And then I can change the color. So at the bottom, I have a little color a wheel or a strip. And you can see I can pick a color and I can actually make it bolder, stronger for that particular color or make it lighter, as you can see. So let's keep it right here. And also, if you want to pick a specific color, you tap on this ball at the end and you can basically pick any color that you want, as you can see. So that's an option you have. Now, another thing you can do is you are able to add widgets to this small, tiny area right here. Again, after you're in the customization screen, you tap on it and look at that. I can add three widgets. So I'm going to remove them just to demonstrate. And there's going to be some bugs here uh, because it is beta. All right. So, for example, let me just remove this. So I'm going to go over here. OK, or let's just go to a clean screen. I'm going to tap on customize. I'm going to tap on plus. And let's add this widget right here. And then let's add this one right here. So I have the stocks widget and also the calendar widget right here. Once I'm done, tap anywhere, tap on done. And now you have that lock screen. Now, what else can you do? Press and hold. Let me show you something cool. If you have a photo of yourself or your family members, your kids uh, over here, when you press and hold, when you press and hold, what you are able to also do is add effects to that photo of a person, if it's a portrait shot or something like that. So look at that. I have the natural, and if I swipe over, it adds the black and white filter. And of course, there's more filters that are going to be available based on the actual photo. With this one, we have two, but you can make modifications just like this as well. Look at this. I can tap over here, and I can add the perspective zoom effect. I can add the disable depth effect or enable or disable it. Let's see if I tap this again what happens. So not much is happening right now, but you get the idea. You have those options right there. And here I can tap over here, which takes me to my photo gallery from where I can pick any photo to be able to add under this uh, in this wallpaper. Okay. And again, you can create as many as you want and look at these options. If I click on plus, if I go to add new, if I tap on plus, I have all these options uh, to add a new wallpaper. I got the featured section, weather and astronomy. I got emojis. I got collections and I have the color options. Look at that gradient options that are also customizable. Let's look at a couple of these guys. For example, this one. Uh, let's take a look at this one here. That's the weather. So I can have live weather on my lock screen. If it rains, it's going to show rain on the lock screen, okay? If it's sunny, you can see we are seeing the sun. 
And after I pick one of these screens, I can also go and modify these three areas as you can see. So that is fantastic, all right? So let me cancel this out and let's see this one. So weather and astronomy also have this option right here. Okay, that's the solar system. Look at that. You can also swipe through them. When you pick one of these options, you can also swipe through to see what it looks like. You also have this effect, as you can see, where the world, the Earth, is above the time. All right, so that's done. Let's see what else we have. Tap on plus. These are some featured options that you have. All right, so let's tap on collections. Again, customize, pick whatever. Emojis, if you want to create an emoji-based wallpaper, you can do that as well. And finally, let's look at the color. So I can pick the tone, deep, vapor, bright, solid. All right, let's see. And vibrant. And if I tap over here, I can pick different colors. There's a little uh, circle here. Then I done, and boom. Then I can pick any one of these lock screens to be my main lock screen. So you can create and save lock screens for later use. Now, let's move on. I also wanna show you guys if I pull this down, you're also going to see the widgets that you added at the lock screen right over here with the exact same setting transferring over from the lock screen. If I go to my settings, if I scroll down, if I go into wallpaper, I also get to do the whole thing I just did at the lock screen right here. So if I tap on add a new wallpaper, Look at that, that same thing comes up and I can start the modification process from here. Also, if I just wanna change the wallpaper of the lock screen or the home screen independently, I can do it from here, okay? So those options remain there as well. Now on the lock screen, we also have something known as the live activity. So I'm gonna launch my music player and as you can see, a music is playing in the background. Now what you can do, is if you go to your lock screen, if something is happening on your phone, it's gonna show up here as a live activity and you are able to control that activity, as you can see. And all the notifications are coming from the bottom instead of the top to keep this area right here clear so you can see uh, whatever you have customized. Let me just cancel this. Live activities are gonna show up at the bottom in the lock screen, nice and customized and orderly and you're not gonna see any pop-ups from the top. They're gonna to come from the bottom when you get a notification. Now, another cool feature that has to do with your photos application is if you have a photo of text, maybe you even took a photo of a menu on a item in a foreign country, look what you can do. So if I go to my photos, I just wrote 100 euros on a piece of paper, and I wanna be able to convert this to US dollars. Okay, let's say this was a menu. All you can do now is press and hold, and look at that, it's actually gonna take 100 euros, as I wrote right there, and it's going to convert that to US dollars on the fly, and on top of that, I can copy it and paste it or whatever. So that's a great machine learning property, but they have made it smarter by giving you live conversion abilities uh, for currency and a few other things. So let me show you one more example. If I go to photos here, I wrote the word family. If I press and hold on it, I get this pop-up. I can tap on the arrow and I can actually translate this to other languages, okay? So family can be translated to Spanish, as you can see. And I have a couple other options that are gonna be added very soon. So if I tap on this guy right here, I can even play that and hear how it sounds in Spanish they're gonna be expanding these capabilities. Now, in relation to the photo gallery, there is one more thing you can do where you can press and hold on a subject in a photo. So in this photo, I am the subject and you have the background. I can actually press and hold on myself and I can grab this photo individually and just send it to somebody without the background. So for example, if I press and hold, look at what happens. It is gonna select the subject I can copy or share. Let's just tap on share, and let's say I wanna send this via mail, so, or, or uh, let's just say Twitter, okay? I'm gonna tap on Twitter, and look at what happens. It will take that subject, pop it right there, and I can send that, tweet that, or share that via messages without the actual background, okay? I can see some use case scenarios for this as well. 
Now, another cool feature I want to talk about has to do with dictation. So I'm over here in notes. Let's say I'm going to dictate something. Okay, I'm going to tap on the dictation button. Look at this. What they did now is you can use dictation and keyboard at the same time uh, in a unified manner. So tap on this. Hey, how are you doing? What's going on? How is everything? Now, let's say I want to switch over to the keyboard as I'm talking. All I do is I come right here and I start typing with the keyboard. Okay, so dictation is active. You can see it's actually, you know, dictating everything that I'm saying into this notepad at the same time. At any time, I can just start doing this. And also, it is automatically adding punctuation marks. But the big thing is keyboard and talk at the same time. Now, Apple CarPlay is going to see a massive update where basically Apple CarPlay is going to pro project itself and deeply integrate itself into your car. And if you have a lot of screens on your car, it's all going to be Apple CarPlay, as you can see in this image they provided. Now, this is too early to demonstrate. They are going to be announcing more information on this next year. Another update comes to the home application. And the home application basically is now easier to navigate, organize, and also to be able to view your accessories. Looks a little bit different, and it's going to be easier to use. That's the new and improved home application for your home accessories, connected accessory. Now, we also have some new addition to messages, particularly uh, if you're using iMessage to chat with somebody. Now, it's going to be a little hard to demonstrate on this phone because it doesn't have a SIM card in it. But basically, what you can do is if you send a message, if you misfire a message to somebody you're not supposed to, you can press and hold on that particular message and recall the message so the message gets undone. You can also edit a message that you already sent out to somebody. So that way, you can actually fix typos. And then finally, you have the share play option that is coming to messages. So while you're texting and chatting with somebody in iMessage, you can also watch a movie together using share play. Now, another existing feature that has been enhanced is the focus feature. So if I go to my settings, you can see we have a focus feature here. Now, this focus feature has been expanded to the lock screen. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go back into the lock screen. Let's press and hold to customize. And you can see we have a focus button here. So what you can do now, by the way, press and hold to delete a wallpaper you don't need anymore, a, a lock screen. So tap on focus and you can use this. Uh, there we go, it worked. Uh, to tie, link the focus. So even the lock screen wallpaper and widgets get attached, linked to a particular focus mode. If you use focus a lot, you know what this means. If you don't, not a big deal. You'll learn soon. And of course, there's a bunch of other changes that are going to be a little bit hard to demonstrate because of the beta nature and some things are hard to simply demonstrate. But those were some of the major features that saw big updates. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?